Right. This is just the end here now. Operations and capital. Daily social media content, training sessions, research and development. Now, who's going to be in charge of your daily operations? I'll be honest with you. This is probably the hardest part as a uh, entrepreneur, unless it's your it's your line of work. Unless you are a marketing strategist and you are a entrepreneur in the marketing strategy business, this can be very hard, especially for trainers, because we are so focused and engrossed on human anatomy, helping right. the clients, building programs, yada, yada, yada. So it can be very hard to now market yourself online Social with the trends that are going, right? So the videos like the one we're filming now, right? Correct. So, uh, who's going to be in charge so and have you put it in your schedule to make time for this? Um, we haven't really, but when we were just talking about it now, I have, I'm going to just talk to somebody that I know because they work at Ford Canada and yeah. they're, they work and they're in charge of Ford Canada social media content. Nice. They're not in charge, they're just a member of the team. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to, I'm going to get in contact. That's something I'm going to ask them to do. Yeah. I'm okay. going to ask them to do. Good. Collab. And that's what mentorship's all about. I mean, that's what we're essentially doing here, right? Yeah, because this is going to have to be monitored and content flooded as much as we can. Right. Like Jared, you were saying, yeah. he constantly floods the people because that the more that they can see and the more variety of different sides they right. see of you, it's like he said, like somebody has to watch your videos or something 16 times before they're bought into the actual person. Right. So if you have like, you know, a thousand videos, which obviously is going to take a while to get, of course. Then it just makes it easier for them to like you now because they can see this and this and this. And, and it's this. not just the you know the professional aspect. Sometimes it's also the personal aspects, right? Exactly. And that's good that you already understand that you're definitely rolling with the trends. Right. Um, unfortunately, in business, whether you like it or not, this is something that I've had to learn. People right. um, is to roll with the trends, whether it's feels comfortable with yourself right I'm yes. not a very narcissistic person I don't even need to be in front of the camera I think it's important to really showcase my clients progress and skills but at the same token people need to get to know me so I shouldn't be looking at it with that type of a hat where it's narcissism it's more or less giving them a glimpse of to who I am right and I had to change my mindset because for a long time uh, for whatever reason it might even have been fear and insecurity it was because I said no, that looks silly. I'm not just going to post all my workouts, all me, me, me. That's narcissism. I'm not into that. But maybe in an outlying or underlying thing, it was also a little bit of fear and insecurity, right? So uh, it's good that you guys are getting uh, mentorship in that area. Obviously, I'm giving you some mentorship, but they're going to have a lot more information when it comes to right. marketing strategies. There's little things that yeah. we just don't know. Right. Like, and I mean, I've had to refer out for marketing and strategy, of course, right? Because I'm kind of brand new to this because I'm a good yeah. trainer. But learning how to be a good marketer. Uh, marketer is a different realm, right? And that's what the, like, I said this the other day. I said, can we all agree that we can make a better burger than McDonald's? Right. Everyone agrees. Right. So why is McDonald's sell more burgers than you? Right. Because they have a better marketing team. Yeah. Than you. And you they got the I mean? years. And right? they got the years of yeah. experience. Exactly. But um, it's just like Robert Kiyosaki in his book, uh, which that poor dad, yeah. he was driving down the, the road one day, his car broke down. Yeah. And he saw a guy, like just a guy who looked kind of homeless. And he's like, hey, because he doesn't judge people. He's like, hey, can you give me a hand deal with my car? The guy came and fixed his car in less than like seven minutes. Right. And he was shocked. He's like, man, you're so good with cars. Right. How come you don't have a job at a mechanic shop? Right. And then it clicked on him that he, this guy just doesn't know how to sell his skills. Right. He's like, there's a lot of people that have tremendous amounts of skills. They just they don't know how to sell themselves. Right. So this is where it comes into play. Right. The media content is gonna help us sell ourselves. No doubt. There's, like I think Trayvon was saying, there's a guy that that runs his own gym here. He's self-proclaimed. He doesn't have a single like uh, accreditation. Like he's not even a personal trainer, wow. but he runs his own gym. Wow. You're no, saying here in Edmonton. You're here in Edmonton. Wow. He's just physically fit, and yeah. people just believe him because of the way that he's marketed himself, right? right? He presents himself. Yeah. He doesn't have, a, like, anything. <laughs> can you imagine, like, this, like, and people believe it's just because he has a look. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. And the way that he sells himself, right. too, right? He's so, very confident, yeah. So this is the big thing that I really want to tackle. Like, right. This is going to be our, our major 
Well, aside from this, it's not going to be our major. Our major thing is just knowing, learning the fundamentals. Like of the course. Effects. Like these things is right. what's going to set us apart, right? Yeah. But then on top of that, this is a secondary. You got to have the foundation to uh, be able to back up what you say. Right. But if you can't market it, you're not going to get, you know, the audience in front of you to make it a change for people, right? Correct. And that, that takes time. And I'm glad that, again, they've chosen myself to really get mentorship from because that's what this is all about, getting very educated and understanding the human body. Because once you've learned that, you can apply it to whatever mechanic or a modality or a discipline you like right yes. like if you're learning all these strategies for me there's no reason why you can't be a power lifter there's no reason why you can't be an athlete in a specific sport there's no reason why you can just be a fitness enthusiast right there's no reason why you can't be a hip-hop dancer whatever it may be right learning these strategies that we've been going over is paramount to you know uh, success and opens the door to literally everything so that's awesome okay